Seven times Olympic medalist Simone Biles opted out of five event finals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, citing mental health concerns. It's an aspect of life I fear we don't give enough importance to. After a two-year break, the 26-year-old returned to competitive gymnastics. And guess how she marked the event? With a historic eighth national title at the US gymnastics event. There's a story there, like with all great champions. Never allow a setback to come in the way, recalibrate and come back even stronger. And we see a lot of that on our quiz show too. When you see these stunning comebacks, it's always such a gratifying sight. Hopefully we'll see all that and much more because this is the Ultimate Sports Quiz 2023. First up today, let's take a look at the structure of this layered contest. 36 teams from schools across India compete via 12 preliminaries. That's three need zone, followed by the four zonal finals, then two semi-finals, then the final for which only the top three teams qualify. The winning team earns the title of the Ultimate Sports Quiz Champions 2023. And these three finalists, yes, stand to win prizes to the tune of one crore rupees. An incredible boost for our young talent. So let's get right to it. Today's episode is a West Zone prelim and it's time to meet our teams. Our first team hails from the sunshine state of Goa. They're all set to give us a brilliant performance. Let's meet Sharda Mandir School, Panji Goa. Hello everyone, my name is Samar Desai. My name is Adish Pandita. Formula One. Basketball, NBA. He's good at gaming. He's good at chess. Bhagat Bhagat. Right, Adish, Samarth, have I met you before? Yes, sir. You were here last year? Yes, sir. But my eye line wasn't there, I was looking a little further down. Mm. You've grown, what, three, four inches? Yes, sir. And looking forward to this quiz? Yes, sir. Good, and you, Samarth? Yes, sir. Love your smile, I hope that's the attitude with which you carry on this entire yes, contest. Sir. Yes. Our next team is no doubt fueled by the delectable cuisine their city is known for. Let's meet Delhi Public School, Kolar Road, Bhopal. My name is Rudraksh Singh. My name is Amesom. I want to become a software engineer or go into nuclear research. I would like to be a DRDO officer. It's probably a trophy that I won in a quiz, in an inter DPS quiz. And mine is my national award from Judo. Probably Inception. MS Dhoni, The Untold Story. Rudraksh and Amaya, welcome. I saw you coming in and I thought Matthew Hayden and Justin Langer are coming out to bat again. But one had eight and a half thousand runs, one had seven and a half thousand runs. So nothing to separate the two of you. Amaya, what are your interests? My interest is cricket, football and basketball. Well done. Drax, you're into judo. Judo and table tennis. You've done well at judo. Yes, sir. You know, I mentioned Justin Langer just now. He's yes. He's a black belt in judo, so is Ajinka Rahane. You looking after your partner? Yes. You're not intimidating him? No, not at all. So, Amir, Rudraksh, wish you all the best today. Here we go then. Our third team of the day comes from Ahmedabad and carries the promise of excellence in its name. Let's meet the Anant School of Excellence. Hi guys, my name is Neerja Mehta. Myself, Anniti. Cristiano Ronaldo, for sure. Same. Very lazy. Sensitive. Well, we are here to give them an equal competition. They should not underestimate us, of course. Right, look at them coming out. Nirja, you're the athlete, aren't you? What do you do? Uh, I play volleyball. Unati, what sport too? Volleyball. Wow, this is a volleyball team. Right, so we've got some characters here today. Adish and Samarth, Rudraksh and Ameya, Nirja and Unnati. Let's take a look at what the teams are playing for then. The three teams who qualify for the final collectively will win prizes worth a staggering one crore rupees. Part of it, and that's mandatory, is a cash prize to strengthen their school's sporting infrastructure. A 
grand prize for the winners is an all expenses paid trip to an international sporting event of their choice. How cool is that? So now that you've been shown the target, let's aim for the bullseye without three rounds. Sitius, Altius, Fortius, or faster, higher, stronger. Let's begin the hunt. Let's play Sitius. Our first round in this contest is all about quick reflexes. You know, like the point guard in basketball? Teams are asked five questions to which they must find the answers hidden within an eight by eight letter grid, just 45 seconds. The answers will be arranged either left to right or top to bottom. They could be names of sports persons, either first names or last names, events or sporting terms. 10 points for every answer correctly spotted and no negative marking in Sitius. Go for it if you have a hunch. Each team will get a fresh grid though. Chardha Mandir, Panaji, here is your grid. Take a look at it. You've got uh, 45 seconds. Here is your first question. He broke the record for the fastest ODI double 100 versus Bangladesh in December 22. Ishan, Ishan is the right answer. I'm looking for that. NBA team from Detroit is called this in Detroit honor Pistons. of its automotive industry. Detroit Pistons. Pistons is the right answer. Let's go on. African country that made its Cricket World Cup debut in 2003. Zimbabwe. Wrong. Let's go on. Question four. This printer's last race was the 2017 World Championship where he won bronze in 100 meters. Usain Bolt. Bolt is the answer I'm looking for. Well done. Number five. Name used by Mumbai Indians fan club, same as the Pro Kabaddi team from Pune. You, Mumba. No, Adish, you jumped the gun a little bit. Boltan is what I was looking for. So it doesn't matter, you've got yourself 30 points. Sharda Mandir Panji, that's a good start. Let's go on now to DPS Kolar from Bhopal. Here is your grid. Take a look. You've already spotted a few names. Just be careful. There might be a few red herrings in there. Here is your first question coming up. Only bowler to take a hat-trick in the first over of a test match is this Indian. Irfan Pathan. Pathan is what I'm looking for. Well done. Football legend from Brazil. Pele. Pele is right. Question three. Name given to England's new approach to test cricket in 2022 Baseball. after their current coach. Baseball. Baseball is correct. You started well. Question four, first Asian city to host the Olympic Games in 1964, also 2021. Tokyo. Tokyo is correct. What a good answer. Clue five, winner of three Grand Slam singles titles who also played for the Brisbane Heat in the WBBL. Ashley Barty. Correct. What a good answer. Yeah. You've got yourself all five, so well done. That's a fantastic start. DPS Kolar Bhopal. Now let's go on to Anant School from Ahmedabad. Here is your grid. Your first question. Australian spinner who captained Rajasthan Royals to their first IPL title in 2008. Hands can. Hands No. Next question. The mascot Appu was created in 1982 for the Asian Games in this capital city in Delhi. Asia. Delhi is correct. Question three. Name of the test series between England and Australia. Oh, Let's pass. go on. Question four. IPL team captained by Rohit Sharma. Mumbai. Mumbai. Go on to question five. Pakistani javelin thrower who won silver at the 2023 World Athletics. That's he. No, you've run out of time. Nadeem was the answer we were looking for. Let's go back. Question three. The test series between England and Australia. It'll be right there on your grid. The Ashes. Right, but... Anand School from Ahmedabad, you got yourself 20 points. Let's take a quick look then at the scoreboard. Anand School from Ahmedabad in third place at the moment with 20 points. Sharda Mandir from Banaji with 30 points. But maxing that first round of CTS, DPS Kolar from Bhopal with Rudraksh and Amir with 50 points. Now that we've seen how quickly some of our teams can think, it's time to test their depth of knowledge in our next round. Some teams find this easier, some others prefer CTS. Let's see how it goes. 